What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Snake Bit. This is episode 85. I did this one with Jen and Juan, two great friends of mine, two lovely people, and two people who are uh, into the weird and spooky shit. So that's what this one was about. It was an interesting podcast. It was kind of creepy. I genuinely hope you guys feel creepy and feel a little weirded out listening to this one because it definitely was a strange one. And uh, there towards the end, you can judge for yourself what, kind of what happened, but there's some spooky shit that happened towards the end. Um, but other than that, it was a good one. Uh, I always have fun being around these two. They're uh, great, great people and great people to talk to. Um, thank you to both of them for uh, for participating. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I have nothing else to say other than I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys... Um, you know, if you're interested in the, like, kind of the occult and um, kind of like paranormal and supernatural, you know, hit me up. We can do one together because this is it's a weird vibe, man. I don't know. I think I definitely learned like it's kind of like a, you know, the door. It's like a you're opening up a door. You, you kind of can go through it, but you're also letting other things through it. And the, the vibes are definitely a little, a little bit different. This podcast, just go listen. You'll see what I mean. But, uh, other than that, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoy like subscribe and comment. It really, really, really does help the podcast. I want to keep doing this forever. And I can only do that. If you guys like subscribe and comment to get the algorithms and get YouTube, uh, get the numbers up. So I uh, appreciate you guys. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Do it. Okay. All right. In these trying times, we gotta start it off right. We gotta start 2021 off right. Welcome to the podcast. Just soaking in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Natal Snake Ray. I'm with Jen and Juan. Julian's not here. Misunderstanding. There's a misunderstanding. Communication. But we're here. 2021. First 2021. podcast of the week. First podcast of the year. So far, it's been a crazy year, bro. What are we, like, eight days? 100% in? sober. How's that? Eight days. It's gone. I don't know. I haven't been thinking about it. Good. How are you doing over there? I'm good. Yeah. Driving. I don't know. Can you let's, can you scoot the mic closer to you? Like you can, yeah, yeah, there you go. Is that okay? There you go. Juan, how are you doing over there? I'm doing lovely, my guy. Uh, wasn't expecting the year to jump off like this. So, like, I've been all over social media, not posting, but been just been watching everything unfold. And I mean, like, this is this is just going to be taught in history in like 20 years. So, <laughs> fuck out of here. I, yeah. I deleted my like, social media. So, really kind of. Oh shit! For so real? I haven't been. I mean, I know what's going on, but I haven't been paying attention. Even if I did have that shit, I wouldn't be paying attention. It's stupid. It's stupid. not fucking stupid. It's, but it's uh, distracting you from what's actually going on. The aliens. Yeah, they're gonna take over. I don't know. I a client was telling me, I guess, something about. I don't know if it's true. You might know because she said she saw it, like on a Joe Rogan thing or whatever about like. uh I guess the COVID relief bill that Trump signed, or I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't keep up with like anything like that. But I think it's like approximately like ninety or one hundred and twenty days after he's out of office, um, UFO information is supposed to be leaked or like released. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I saw it was like every ninety days they're gonna release information. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I think that's definitely something that's trying to distract us. Like you know, just trying to like deter. I from something, but... I don't know. Something's going on. Yeah. Who knows? That's what I brought these two in here for. We're going to have Juan over here. Fucking... And Julian, but no. Julian... I guess still talking. Said, no, yeah, yeah so it's just going to be a little bit different. Yeah. You got your camera back, uh, right? I'll look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah um, how was your holidays, first and foremost, Jen? They were okay. Uh, they were... 
boring, I guess. It was just me and my parents because COVID. So it was chill. How many siblings do you have? I have three older brothers. Are y'all close? No. Mm-mm. No, we're like super. We have like a really, really big age gap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like my youngest, oldest brother. Like the one closer to my age is like 36. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah so we far. have a huge <laughs> age gap. Yeah. So it's like whenever we sit down, we're just kind of like. <laughs> it's like, no, there's no like, yeah, in the middle to uh, relate. You feel me? Like, yeah, they, yeah. they must have their own family. And yeah, shit. do they have They're, kids and shit? He doesn't. No, oh. only one of my brothers has kids. And okay, like my oldest brother, I want to say is like 44 or something. And when my parents had me, my brother got his girlfriend pregnant when he was a teenager. So my niece is my age. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just kind of like close in age. That's like my only like niece. So your parents had a kid and a grandkid all at once. Yeah, my dad. I guess my dad had a daughter and a granddaughter all at once, like four months apart. Huh. Yeah. How uh, how was your holidays? (laughs) All my holidays, uh, pretty bland, like I was saying before. Nothing major. Uh, My family being, you know where they come from they don't really uh participate in like the traditional american christmas so we did not like exchange gifts we didn't even put up a tree we tr- we'd like do the bare minimum at least put a tree up just to waste time but we didn't do none we didn't, we didn't even have like no dinner or nothing like no tamales either i was so upset <laughs> what'd you do for uh, new year's new year's bro you're not believe man fell asleep <laughs> woke up before before 12 to celebrate had my first beer of the year and then went back to bed that's it that's yeah. it what, what, more, what more can you do right now with the, the whole shit going know. on i mean hey don't get me wrong if i if it was any in any other circumstances i would have gone out and raged but yeah. that, you can do that any other day so what'd you do Jen? you just watch that uh yeah, I was supposed to go drinking with one of my friends, and I was like, no, I really don't want to go out. And I should have gone because she got fucking engaged. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, I didn't know. Like, she was inviting all of us, like, because I guess her fiancé was like, yeah, let's all go have drinks and, you know, celebrate. And I was like, no, I don't want to go out. And she got fucking engaged. Who's your friend? Uh, her name is Brianna. Congratulations, Bri. Bran. Who's like, your fiancé? His name is Juan. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, my producer name yeah Jackie John Jackie John yeah yeah, refer to me as Jackie John now on the podcast I didn't remember I just thought about it Uh, what okay here we are I'm just it's a lot different doing this over you need to take it all in it's weird like I said earlier I brought these two in we were supposed to do this it's been a weird day because we were supposed to do this today's friday we were supposed to do this saturday yeah. but the guy who i'm doing one with tomorrow was supposed to be today and it's just fucked up so but we were going to talk about spooky shit and and the and the occult and, and scariness oh the occult no i don't know stories are you do you have spooky stories i don't know if i like i mean i, I wouldn't want to hear say i haven't i don't got like interesting spooky stories but i have been uh I've interacted with the paranormal before. Like I have like had experiences with ghosts and shit where that made me believe that there's something out there, whether or not it'd be like a manifestation of like a spirit, but like some big, some energy looking out for you because not to like yesterday I was working, right? And uh, we're moving some dirt and this guy that drives uh, this uh, backhoe was loading some dirt in his pickup truck and uh, I was just in some spot near to the truck and uh, I just happened to move and right as soon as I moved like this big ass like uh, rock like this dirt this dirt rock fell on the spot where I was it would have hit me so like <laughs> and I didn't know until like one of my coworkers was like hey bro that thing over there they almost hit you <laughs> and I was like for real He's like, yeah, man, like that's sh- you were like this close to getting hit. I was like, damn, like what what instinct? Um, I don't know. Someone just told me to just move. You feel me? It's just different. Yeah. 
Oh, so uh, what were you saying? This kind of has something to do with that. What were you saying about um, the dude from Ghost Adventures? What was that story you done? Oh, really? Diving right into that. Um, okay. I've been thinking about that. What were you saying about him? About, like, how, like, he probably, like, made a deal or something? Yeah. Okay. So, I, at one point, had a client, and she was a professor at Tech. And I don't know, like, what she was... I don't know if she was a student teacher or if she was, like, a professor. She, she was something she was teaching. And it was, like, a class on, I guess, like, cults and, you know, uh, I guess, like, demonology. And I don't, I don't know. I don't really know, like, the specifics, the specifics of it. And so she was just kind of telling me, like, a breakdown of, like, what she teaches. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, like, me, I'm like, do you know who Zach Baggins is or whatever? And she's like, oh, yeah, I know. Like, he's, like, he's an idiot or whatever. And I was like, he's he's silly. You know, like, he's he's a character or whatever. And I was like, "Um, I think it's crazy how, like, through the show, like, I don't know if you've been, like, watching it for, like, a long time. But, like, in, like, the earlier seasons, he's just kind of some dude just, like, wandering, like, in spooky places and just like getting haunted or whatever and it's like as like it progresses he kind of starts like getting like intuition you know kind of like i feel like something's here or like why do i have rage at this thing or like uh like he kind of gets visited more or whatever and i was just like don't you think that's yeah Yeah. you know and i was like don't you think that's kind of like you know like how does that work and she was like oh no like he definitely at this point in her career in his career and like at this point of like how like how well he experiences things she's like he has to have made a deal or he knows where he's going right. to get him like that kind oh, of like, intuition uh, just, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, like, i used to like that show when it came on the discovery channel like i would always like peep out those new uh, episodes that came yeah. on like, when, it was, when it was airing i enjoyed it but i was yeah. always staged i didn't ever yeah, think like, i feel like some of it is to like drum up views but i feel like to be honest the the way they make it like you got you're gonna see something you feel me going into that shit you got you're gonna see something yeah like there are like some really really scary things like they've like seen on that like they've caught like hands grabbing you know they've caught I see, like the the bear move or whatever no. The voices they catch on their little, like, little radio. Station. See, that shit I don't believe. I don't uh, believe that. that. Yeah, like, you, just, you mean, that seems fake. You think so? Yeah, because you can you fuck around that? with that. But like, I don't know. I, I just always... But when you said that to me, I was all, what the fuck? Yeah. And then we talked about that. Remember when you were like... Oh, what was it? Oh, we were saying like... if. You can't have one side without the other. Oh yeah, duality. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah like, you, know you can't have like, good without bad. bad so like, without good and, then, and that was, I was just like having these conversations since then. I was like, in, uh, like what if you do have the ability to have intuition, but you just like, and you tap into it, then you you you're gonna get both sides of it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, what if you're just like, because I do believe like people are naturally born with natural like things, maybe like to see things or hear things. We're not supposed to hear Z, but mm-hmm. if you fucking start fucking with it, it's gonna fuck with you back. Oh you know yeah, I, mean? I feel like that's just like a given. I feel like that's with anything though. But how do you make a deal? Who do you like? How would you go about making a deal with like? It's hard, like, man. I've tried. What do you mean? It's hard. Explain, please. I'm, 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 I'm genuinely like, no, Why? Why? I'm genuinely <laughs> curious. Being poor. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I'm for real. Like I'm genuinely curious. Like, how do you? How would you, you, people you it, call? All, it all comes down to this one story of this one uh, famous blues guy, uh, friggin' named uh, damn Robert Robert Johnson, and uh, the the whole story of him uh, getting famous within the week, it, like literally, bro. It took he had this epiphany, I guess, whatever you want to call it, and. Uh, he was like he heard something from some old uh you know uh what do you call them not a witch but like you know somebody just insightful in that sense of like in that way yeah in that in that scene so he got he got some tip wondering like you can you can go this far but once you get there it's all on your own and uh he was told that he could meet the devil in these crossroads and oh, yeah, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah. No, he actually. There's a whole story. Like this guy was so weird, bro. He'd play. He'd uh, 
he would uh, practice playing his strings in graveyards. Like he was, he was a weird What's guy. Who was this guy? Robert Johnson. Okay, Johnson. Very, yeah, okay. very famous blues singer back in the '40s, I think. And uh, yeah, like uh, he just rose from fame in a short amount of time. Like it was almost sorcery. That's what they called it back then. They're like, how did this guy get so fucking good and <laughs> out there so fast? No, yeah, I feel like. And this is all real? Like, we're not, we're I mean, it's like stories. Right. It's folk, it's folklore, yeah. but it's like one of the famous stories. Okay. Like, and then it's all talked about in uh, that scene, like, oh, the crossroads. Like, anything that intersects and makes a cross, you can interact with the other the other side. So I have, like, two things to go for that. Okay, so the folklore, ah. whatever. I've heard, like, I mean, there's just, like, different renditions of that story in general. Yeah, you know, see. like, my grandpa used to tell me one. Um, cause he was from Dilly, Texas uh-huh. and he had said that in that town, there was like this like older man and he was always just like, oh. just dirty and just greasy and just like, not like well kept, but he always had money. He always had funds. Uh. And, um, my grandpa was he kind of like, me. <laughs> <laughs> you invited me on, you wanted to be scared. I am scared. I'm really scared shit. I'm not scared. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. What were you um, like my grandpa asked him, you know, like, what are you doing? You know, like, like, how are you making this money or whatever? And, and that man had, um, told him meet me at a crossroads or like, at like a railroad ah. track or something. He and told he, your grandpa yeah, that? Yeah. And my, and my yeah. grandpa was like, word. Okay. And so my grandpa met him late at night and, um, my grandpa like only spoke Spanish. So this is just kind of like my translation of it. Um, he said that when he met him, it was the middle of the night and he was, he was dirty or whatever. And he had told him like, you, you can strike a deal essentially, but it was at those crossroads and that he pulled out like a black, um, rooster foot out of his pocket. Uh-huh. And he was like, you can make a deal and you can get money. But when it's time to like pay, yeah, you, you pay. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Hey, and so what my what grandpa, was like, what? yeah. <laughs> and so my grandpa was like, no, like, I no, this is not what I thought. So they, my grandpa was like, no, thank you. Like, do not, yeah, we're not associating. Yeah. So that man, he went on to this, to live or whatever. And I don't know if it was like a few years later, but they found him dead. But when they found that man dead, all his bones were crushed. I'm too sober for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. This is fucking uh, weird. Right, it's the best. Yeah. It's dude, absorbing everything. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, but, that's why I'm like. So, I've heard of that, but also as far as like lines intersecting and stuff, like I've heard about, I guess like there's just like geographical like lines throughout like just the world where like at those like intersections and those lines, like you can like open shit or even like at like in like bodies of water and like rivers and stuff. Cause it like is like a Can we talk about bodies of water? Remember? Did we? Yeah. I don't remember. What do you mean, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Cause I mean, I guess like the, the current of the water going, it like conducts energy. So like something could like be like attracted to it, you know? I guess like La Llorona would be like a, a good example of it. I don't know how true it is because it's just a fun story, but no, nah, I can you know. I can account for oh. like for that to be honest. I yeah, mean, it's just from my uncle's experiences. But to be honest, like my mom, like my mom told me about this one story, so I didn't hear it from my uncle specifically, but it was told to by my uncle to my mom, and so this is her version of it. But if anything, um, same thing, like. He was just up to no good, drunk. He was fed up with something. He was looking for the devil. And uh, just so happened, he uh, I guess he slipped and he fell into the river where they live. They live by a river. And you'd, you'd be surprised. A lot of spooky shit happens at the river, bro. Huh? <laughs> if anything, he almost lost his life that night. And uh, actually, like... I hate this shit. It, 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 <laughs> Put him, it put him straight, to be honest. Like, he knew what he was wanting and not, you know, like, that wasn't what he wanted. So, like, did he see something? If anything, I think he uh, got spooked. He, he, was, he wasn't expecting to see something. And it, it startled him enough to where he, like, put himself in a bad situation and almost got himself killed. So, let's say, let me, let's go back. So, you said you tried to do it? I mean, in retrospect, like, it's not, like, seriousness, but I have, like... I know a little knowledge 
And from I, where? Where do you grab? Where do you uh, even the make? internet? I mean, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I wish, I I wish there was like a. I mean, there are books, but like like find like an ancient scripture like locked and shit like i'd be like oh this looks interesting let me see if i can unlock it i'll say this being scared is like being drunk it's like one and the same for me it's just an experience that i like right. but i fucking hate it too yeah you being drunk no i, don't like being <laughs> drunk. I fucking love being drunk it's like it's like just alters your, yeah. your mind a little bit you keep looking yeah. at no, 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 bro. You want to see something behind you or something if we're good, if we're counting stories i guess like I got to the point where I was sort of not sort of was worshiping the devil. I mean, like not in, in, in a serious way, but I do have like a devil tattoo on me. So yeah, he's got a pentagram. <laughs> on so. Do you really? Yeah, it's right here. It's off a yeah. video game. So it's like not serious, but it's cool. Like got little yeah. horns on it and stuff. Like if anything, I was just I was in a bad place when I got it, like mentally. So yeah. Um, but so speaking scary. of that, <laughs> no, 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 it's crazy because this one time I was tripping out of my room and I was listening to this one song, that Rattlesnake song, by, like song. by King Gizzard. Mm -hmm. If you play it real soft, like in a certain uh, decibel range, it sounds like they're saying Hell Satan. <laughs> yeah, like where it's like Rattlesnake, when they repeat that, it sounds like Hell Satan, like Hell Satan. And <laughs> no one. <laughs> this shit is fucking creepy. No, one day I was just in my room chilling, listening to that on the stereo, and it was just some in my head just like started going slow, like real slow, and like that. That it was like a, it's like a build up, and the next thing I looked down at my carpet, bro, and I swear I might have just been really high. <laughs> But, Probably. Yeah, maybe. I've had some Literally, I, st I saw a pentagram form beneath my feet in the carpet. And I like to this day, I remember that shit. Like, I was like, what, what was that? I, I've, I've seen the devil. Like, I swear I've seen the devil. He's, he's everywhere. Like, and I he's, feel like being like not like just high or just like tripping that definitely like opens you up to like shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've seen shit sober too. Regards. I've seen shit sober. Like, <laughs> you don't have to be high. But. Being high does definitely. What do you mean you seen shit sober? What you see? Like uh, this one time, nah, I'm lying. Like, I think I was high. <laughs> you don't recall? <laughs> nah, but if anything, it is true. Like, if you're high, like you open yourself more. Like you're more. You're more loose. Yeah, you're more loose. Like, you're not you're off guard. Um. Okay. It might have honestly just been because it was fucking legal. I was like 16, and it was me, and my friend Lauren. Like the shit legal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So spice. Yeah. Spice. It was it was weird, but um, so it was me and my friend Lori. We went to my friend Marcus's house because I was gonna go bleach his hair, and so we go. He's being bleached, and then he, uh, Lauren's like, "I have legal. Let's smoke it." Like it had just kind of come out, you know. It was just kind of this this hype. Jesus. So all the rage back then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at sixteen, you'll smoke anything. You'll smoke yeah, anything that's just, I never hit that, and I was a crackhead. It was back fucking then. weird, but um, so we smoked and. Uh, like in 30 minutes went by and it, it, I just felt high. We decided to go to McDonald's. We're in the Arnett. So where he lived, it was just like a straight shot to McDonald's. Oh, and that's so, my sister playing the, sorry, I can hear oh. the music. Oh. That's my sister playing the fucking. The ghost. <laughs> yeah. Do you hear it? I mean, not necessarily. Right. I thought somebody's Trippy. phone was like playing music. Was like, my bad. Right. It's just, no, it's the man. It's the, the, it's the ghost taking over me. Yeah. Um, My fault, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're okay. So we, we drove, we got our McFlurry or whatever. And then um, I'm driving and I'm not going fast. I'm going like just neighborhood speeds. And I'm stoned. And I swear I could see something running next to the car. And I was like, no, like I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Lauren goes, you should drive faster. And I was like, no, it's 30 miles an hour. Neighborhood. And she was like, no, like, that's like running next to us. And I didn't mention it. And so I was just like, okay, okay. So I did speed up, but it was just with us just not even speaking a word about it. We both saw the same thing. Fuck that. Yeah. Oh, yeah so I'll hey, I'll say this. So. My, my boy Tyrone, I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He, he's an old drunk. He said he smoked that and he saw the, a devil. Yeah. 
I've I've had like a lot of friends who have smoked it and they've like seen stuff, but also that's like awful shit in general. So I don't know. Yeah, just smoke regular weed. Yeah. Yeah, that literally puts holes in your brain. Yeah. Or it did. I don't know. People should smoke that shit. <laughs> never done it. I heard good things or bad things. Would never do it. Only did that one. I never understood it. Oh, yeah. speaking of like sober, sober sobriety, like I, I can't remember this one time, and it's actually like the earliest of moments to where I've seen like some like freaky. So. Uh, Back then, we used to like take metro buses, right? You know, like the ones that would take you city to city. Like a, like a Greyhound? Yeah, a Greyhound. So we used to take Greyhounds to Mexico. And well, I think this one was taking us to Arlington. Um, but if anything, we're, uh, we're at like, we weren't in Lubbock, we're at like some other bus stop and we're exchanging buses to go to our route. And in the process, we got on the bus. Across from me was another bus, ten somewhere else. I think you told us this before. Did I? Yeah. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. If anything, uh, I saw a demon. Like I saw this little girl, and uh, she she looked like a little girl at first, and then she turned around and she turned back, and she like had this weird face, this weird little like demon face. And it tripped me out so hard, like I like, you know, to where you just like lean in your oh, seat, man. lean in my seat. I, I was so, I was so spooked. But but some some man was like, look again. Like someone was like, look again. And I tried to peep, and the bus was gone. The bus was gone at the time. But that was trippy out. Like I would never like to like describe it. It would be hard just because like memories fade. But yeah. like I always remember kind of like seeing like memories. yeah seeing seeing that trip me out like was was I dreaming like nah that was that was some real shit yeah there's definitely a there's I don't know I think like you said though that the devil is everywhere yeah so is God but I don't know I feel like you th- I feel like there are certain powers. We could tap it. Would you do? Would you do that? Like, if you could, you, obviously you tried. <laughs> like in, so would oh, you like the... legitimately like? Let's say like there's a book you put your name and you right. You become rich, Get what you want. Famous? Would you do it? Well, I, I'm not looking for fame, but you well, know, okay, I mean, whatever you want. Would yeah, you any, anything. I have this, you know, this this lifelong goal that I've been very uh, passionate about for like the last four years. Maybe that's when I started dabbling with the dark arts. But like I said, it's not, it's nothing, it's nothing serious. Like, yeah, it's like, I sh- I could take it seriously, but it's, that's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother level. And you, Jin? No. No, fuck that. <laughs> I like to talk about it and like hear stories and like listen about it, but no, I would never. That's as far as you know. Yeah. It's like some deep, dark shit. It's scary. Part of me is so curious as to like really wanting to see it from my eyes, but I feel like the only way for you to do that is is to dive into it. Probably. I don't know. Nope. It is spooky. Nope. But I I don't know. I do think I was just thinking about like intuition and like maybe you can like have premonitions or dreams or shit. But maybe you could just do it without having to like focus. I don't know. Do you yeah. do you believe do you believe in astral projecting? Can you do you think people can do that? Never heard of it. You never heard of it? Have you? Um, I've heard of it. <clears throat> I don't I don't know if it's like a thing. My my roommate, she is like really into like astrology and manifestation and, and tarot cards and stuff like that. And she's like <clears throat> researched it and studied it and she's tried, but she Cause I guess like there's like stages that you go through to reach it. I guess like as far as like the stages of sleep go and everything. And oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah like one of like the stages you hit after like you go through your stages of sleep is like a sleep paralysis phase before you like lift out of your body. And so she's gotten as far as the sleep paralysis. Stage, That's as far as I've gone. Uh, that's that. real. I've done that. I've like, had a lot of sleep paralysis. I've done that, in my I've day. Done that's that real. accidentally, like a lucid dream before. Yeah. And uh, it's fun. It's fun as fuck. But it's like the last time I had one. Really awful. The last time I had one was recently, not real recently, like after my birthday. Mm-hmm. 
and I could feel like a spider crawling on me and like I seen it but I knew I was lucid dream because I, I, I've been able to do it and know it's happening but I felt this fucking spider crawling on me and I'm like <laughs> You just, gotta, like, you just gotta lay there. You can't do nothing. So. Uh, I feel like we've all, like, we all experienced like, that. Like the, in like a sense. But I've never, been able, I've never been able to like no. control it. Okay, but if you're saying sleep paralysis, Steven, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Um, I got a good start to talk about. I mean, I think I've said okay. it too. Yeah, no, definitely say it. But like, uh, I mean, there's like been like a common thing that people have seen universally in sleep paralysis like a black shadow yeah like yeah, a black shadow no, I've seen or the like black shadow. or like a like a black shadow with like a top hat or like some kind of hat the babadook that's a, that's a good movie <laughs> that's, that's, that is a good that's movie. movie that's a really good movie. i like that movie i just seen a black shadow i never really seen it as a figure it's just black no nah, man like when it's like over your head I've had, it, I've had it run up on me. I've had it, I've run, seen it run up on I've me. I've had his dick like in my fucking <laughs> face one time. <laughs> no. I've seen it like in the corner of the room and then come up on me and I'm like, you no. fucking. No, no, this time, this like, I'll, I'll never forget this moment either. It was like, for some odd reason, I was uh, sleeping in my, my brother's room with my little brother on the side because he used to like not have bad, you know, night terrors. So. Mm-hmm. He would have somebody to want like want to sleep with him, and so like he was sleeping. His head was on the the bed rest, and I was sleeping like you know opposite to him with my feet to his face, I guess. And like I said, just all of a sudden, I woke up. Like my mind was like awake, but my body wasn't, and uh, I could just feel like this this presence behind me. But I like it took me. It was like I was trying so hard to look over my head. It wasn't possible, but I could, I could feel, and I could like, m- like manifest what was behind me. And it was, it was some like, oh, that's a, yeah, it was like, it wasn't the, the nicest of energies, but it was like, it wasn't there to, to harm me. You feel me? It was just making its presence known. I've always felt like bad energy when I've had, I've never felt good. It's uh, always been horrible. <laughs> I felt good energy. But I know it's happening. It's crazy. I've never really thought of, like, I talked about this the other day and I, like, went to bed thinking it was going to happen, but it never did. It just comes randomly. I can't explain it. That's and fucking terrifying. It is terrifying. I am scarier than ghosts. Sleep then, no, this is actually l- less scary than the ghost thing, I'll tell you. Really? I'm talking about this is less scary than the fucking the creepiness that was just, like, <laughs> ten minutes ago. But, yeah, now that y'all making me, like, recount, like, re re, re- like... Talk about it. I've had like a lot of experience now thinking about it. Doing what? It's just like, it just, it doesn't, it's like something not to be phased about. You feel me? It's like, you're going to encounter it sooner or later in your life. That's why I brought them on. There are crazy <laughs> people that's picking out the most. I'm a, I'm a demon. Oh, Juan. <laughs> we got to turn you back into a Christian. <laughs> I what are we at, man? I didn't right here. Yeah, me too, man. We're a little over 33. It's very cold. Mr. Crowley. Oh. I asked him what he knew about Aleister Crowley, because I don't know a lot about it. I, I know Who's stuff that? that I've heard. He's like a, I guess like a, what would be like a philosoph- philosopher, or like an occultist. That's what the song's written about? Yeah. Uh, uh, Ozzy Osbourne's mm-hmm. Mr. Crowley. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was he, written about somebody. I didn't know Yeah, he, he was like this like... Yeah, I'm gonna butcher it, but Not cold. he was like a I don't wanna say like an occult leader, but he was an occultist and he was like a philosopher. Yeah, and like and some would consider arts. him like a warlock. So he did like a lot of like what sex magic. The fuck is a warlock? Like warlock. he would do like a lot of like sex magic. You think like sex a wizard magic? like a wizard, you so know, like it, a, yeah. What's sex yeah, magic? Yeah, like was it, like I don't know, like he would just like do like his whole thing was I guess to like do that things kinda to wild. like <laughs> like, he would not necessarily he would like eat his own shit and stuff like that and like perform like orgies and shit to That's like what I figured you were yeah but like so disgusting it was right. essentially like he would do things to like the heinous extreme I guess during these things yeah. like okay um the reason why I was asking about it is because oh, I'm gonna fuck this up so bad cause it's gonna sound like just so like X-Files type shit but have you heard the story about how Aleister Crowley is the one who conjured the Loch Ness monster? No, I never heard of that. That would be cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so is this guy like old, like ancient? He's, or like he's dead. Like, yeah, like the no, second yeah, age or old. something. 
18 or 1900s. Like he, he's like before Anton LaVey. Yeah. Like he's like, he's who like Anton LaVey, like. Who the fuck is that? That's the leader of the. <laughs> the, the satanic church. church. Yeah, the church of Satan. He owned like a lion in his house or some shit. I don't know. Crazy dude. Uh, the bald headed dude? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's the one who like uh, invited Marilyn Manson into like the church of Satan. Oh, I knew that. My bad. Yeah. So it's that guy. I, but that guy was influenced him. by Alistair Crowley. But like Alistair Crowley influenced a lot. Like even like the Beatles. He's like on like a Beatles but, like, album cover. Church of Satan is not at all about Satan though. Mm-hmm. So it's like. No, but he like. Just the ideologies, I guess, came from I know, okay. like what Crowley spoke about. But what this, about those temple guys? What are they called? The the, the, the temp- Masonic? No, the Mason? no, they like the Templar. No, I don't Knights know. Templar? No, they 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 were something of an occult, to be honest. Uh, no, I'm talking about like the some te- like nah, I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> It's like another. Yeah, it's so it's like another organization. It's another organization that participated. Like, a, like, like, in, like the free, like Illuminati almost type right. shit. That's something else. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people actually run the world. It's like a handful of individuals. But are they in the Illuminati? I mean, the else? Illuminati is like something. Isn't that it's, like basically like the Freemasons? Is like a watered down? Yeah, it's like, like a group that. of men. Yeah, but well, like not just. I mean, I don't think they like. Yeah, they're not sexist. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not, sorry, I was about, a lot of about this guy, I'm the Crowley dude. Oh, um, I don't know. Like, I just what I don't I know about him. I just so don't he know uses enough. magical powers to bring the Loch Ness monster. Okay. <laughs> sounds like Nessie. so stupid okay so <laughs> when he would like i don't want to call them like spells or rituals or whatever like he would like do these things and these rituals or these spells took like months to to do like if you started it it would take like six eight nine months you know to to complete the spell so this one that he was um working on he it called for i could think like for him to to live at a house that like faced a certain direction and like it had to face water in one direction like it it was like technical stuff like that so he he i don't know if he bought a house or he built a house or he he had settlement or whatever like wherever uh the loch ness monster ended up you know coming um they say and (laughs) as he was like i know i'm like i'm like don't don't you know i hope not uh, between this but uh, i guess he didn't complete this spell so whatever he opened, released, they, they say that that's what released it, you know, because I guess like the legend of like the Loch Ness Monster hasn't been around forever. No. It just kind of became a thing at one point. So there's a theory that he didn't complete <laughs> that spell or that ritual because he, he left, he, he, he like left that settlement or that house that he was at and that's what resided now. It's what was left because he just left whatever open or it opened and he closed it or whatever. But I don't know what he was trying to conjure in the first place. There you go. But there's like lots of stories about him like that. I feel like anything Scooby Doo covers, like it's legit. You feel me? (laughs) Oh, I was like, if anything like Scooby Doo covers, bro, it's legit. You feel me? That was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Now that I'm looking back at it, I was like, it's it's kind of spooky. Yeah, it's like a bunch of teenagers. I bet they're having sex in that man. The one where the headless guy's walking around in a. In the mansion to start the show, he's like walking around it's with the candles. Scary. It's all scary. It's all scary. The fucking, uh, the, the soundtrack, it really is freaky. Yeah, yeah that's the trick. And then the one with the, the, the puppets, that dude was creepy. I'm trying to remember. They all look the same. I'm like a child, I like those cartoons. Uh, yeah, Scooby Doo was <laughs> all time favorite growing up. Um, Scooby and Courage, Courage, like, Courage was, was really scary. Nah, that yeah, was that creepy. It was dark. Uh, like, <laughs> like, go, if you like the the philo- like, yeah, philosophically thinking about it, like, yeah, like, courage might have been you. Like they say, you were seeing it in his perspective, being a dog, like That's everything is scary. Seen. You feel he, me? Like, he's always scary and shit. Yeah. Have you seen those like cartoon conspiracies on like what they're about? That yeah. one, like, the, oh. like the Ed Ed and Eddie one. They're in purgatory. That's what that cul-de-sac is. It's like pur- purgatory. For all those kids. So like a hundred years of kids that have died is like throughout. Because you don't, you never see like an adult or anything. No, and their it's tongues are just... blue. Their tongues are blue, so like they're dead. They're dead, but they're not really. 
I don't know. It's crazy. That's awful. It's you know. Bro, I love that show. Don't, don't, don't do this to me, man. It makes a lot of sense. Now the show is like weirdly uncomfortable, though, because of like the end. Like it was funny and it was stupid, but yeah. it was just kind of like. It's out there. Yeah. Kind of how like Ren and Stimpy is like kind of uncomfortable. I don't I know. I never really That's watched like, that. Like no. it's just like that weird I'm not that old. Uh, <laughs> you remember Cat Dog? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, like a, no. I think that's an old Nickelodeon show. That was like way before our time. Was like but 80s. it was still airing. Like so. 90s. Yeah. Rogue early, Rats. early 90s. Yeah. There's a Rograts one, The Theory About Rograts. That one's fucking crazy. I've too. heard several. Oh, Tommy being like a stillborn. Stillborn and all and that. The and twins. His dad, yeah, just. Abortion. No, yeah, that's some. No, nah, that was some. <laughs> What was there was one about like Cynthia being like Angelica's mom or being like somebody's yeah, mom. Yeah, it's a fucking crazy something, shit. Something dark. I don't it's know. super dark. When you go like like people make up this shit. Like what the fuck? You got nothing but time on there. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other ones. I don't know. Him from a p- powder puff girl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I liked him. What are you looking at? I heard something, bro. It's a siren, bro. <laughs> no, oh, shit. Why are you freaking me out? <laughs> no, I heard something. Oh, swear to God. It's the... Uh, telling you. They're playing guitar in there. Okay. I heard, like, <laughs> something breathing on me. Ooh. What are you talking about? This is a, this house is uh, blessed I by know. a priest. I, know, I mean, I, if anything, I brought the evil spirit with me, so I'm always... This is a safe haven. If we had been at my... Like, uh, not this house. Like, if I had my house... I would have let y'all play with the Ouija board on here. I wouldn't want to play it. Hey, I'm game. Hell no. That's so good. Yeah, I would play it, but I'd watch y'all. Yeah, I'd watch. But <laughs> but you played with them before. I, yeah, and no, thank you. Never I never like I never experienced anything off of it, but it was like that like one weird summer where like um I told you about that girl who like. I swear, like, she, like, put some shit on me or something. Yeah, yeah. that was all fucking freaking me out, man. Yeah, I know. It fucking freaked <laughs> me out, too. So, <laughs> like, the whole Ouija board shit happened, like, that summer. I swear, I swear oh, this girl, like, dude. put some shit on me. Because you were playing Ouija board. That's what. She put a hex on you. No, you I don't know. I think she just, like, girl. released some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to put a spell <laughs> on you. But. Have you, uh, have you played with one? With one? No... I mean, to be honest, like, never really tried to conjure up the other side. But if but you anything. Tried to sell yourself. But yeah, I did try to sell my soul. Like I said, it's hard, man. They don't just they don't just take anybody so nowadays. Like, you feel Who, me? Who's they? I don't understand. Them, I mean, not them. Yeah, who's they're just. Who's them? They, 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 they work as a group. I want to be rich and famous. Let me know. Not famous. But I do, I, I, I do I, have this plan. I I'm gonna sign my, I'm sell gonna... my soul and buy it back. Buy what? I'm gonna sell my soul, oh, part of it. Oh, and buy it back. But buy it back later. Nah, you can't do that. Why not? It's just, There's no they're, rules. They're smarter than you, bro. They got... I was just a little bit. Just, just, here's a little piece. Just the itty bitty part, like your sex life. Like, can I keep that? <laughs> you can have my yeah. Everything you can have my, my energy. <laughs> just let me have it back in about ten years. <laughs> no, yeah. It's it's something it's something that's it's always been out there. You feel me? Like magic and science go hand in hand. Like that's where alchemy comes into play. You feel me? Have you seen uh, As Above So Below? Mm-hmm. It's a trippy movie. That is. I was just, I was that's watching a fun it. one. It just gives me like motion sickness. It's, it's kind of like oh yeah, it's real mm-hmm. claustrophobic. Yeah, but it's cool. And that was like alchemy and yeah. I wish I knew more about oh, stuff what, like what that. What does it say? Uh, that and like runes or whatever. I was saying the saying earlier and I was freaking out my sister. <laughs> the, the writing above it, it when you enter hell. Abandon all hope, ye who enter. Yep. That's pretty cool saying. I like Abandon all hope, ye who enter. And then, the one, have you seen that movie? That one with the, like the, is there like. A, it's the French catacombs. They're like, yeah, in the Paris catacombs and they're like trying to. And they like legitimately find it. hell. I didn't like the cinematography. I'm a big like movie nerd fan. So like, <laughs> like the concept was cool. Like it was an okay movie. You know, it could have been done better. Like I'm just saying like. The, the no, story it is, it's, it's a cool yeah. found footage. Yeah. I think it's off like, like so Dante's. Much. I think it's based on Dante's Inferno. Thank Which you. I have no yeah. idea about. I don't know. Like, like the, the seven levels of hell. Have you ever seen uh, the house that Jack built? I heard about it. Though. That's a really good movie. But um, that's like about like, I guess it's like the seven layers of hell or whatever, like Dante's Inferno and shit like that. 
Uh, but it touches base on that. You're going to go to hell for smoking that fucking jewel. That's what you're going to do. It just died, so. Good. I guess. Good. Why? Fuck Why are you thing? hating on me, bro? I'm trying to quit cigarettes, man. I'm to, no, I'm not smoking cigarettes either. There you go, buddy. Damn, I want one right now. Oh, shit. That, dude, that, that does sound good. <laughs> well, I'm scared to go to hell. If it's real. I mean, who? Are you, scared to, are you scared to die? No, not at all. I'm scared I'm going to die. To be honest, like... I don't, I don't want it That's to be That's all painful. put out there. Yeah, so you're not you're not afraid of death. I feel you. Like, if you know where you're going to well, go. It's like, why would you be afraid of something that's absolutely fucking certain? That's, the yeah. one certain thing. Yeah, all. but you never know what's like. I sort of, like, feel like I worship death a little bit. I, like, I'm surprised. very fascinated by death. I think I just respect it. I mean, death is everywhere. Like, it just is what it is, unfortunately. I don't know. It's, like, kinda, it's, one, it's like ghosts. It's like a weird thing to think about. Yeah. I mean, you can't have like your own like mortality or yeah. like just like uh, just the idea that things die no matter what not mine necessarily just things come and they go and it's always been that way and it always will I don't know it's fucking weird borrow time man <laughs> here, here it, makes it makes you appreciate the little things I guess yeah I was thinking this actually last night like what if when you die you you, you can like you can go on or you can like live another life. Uh, well, like, what if you're given the choice to be reincarnated? So, like, reincarnation. Do you believe like in reincarnation? I don't know. Stuff? Not, that's the whole religion. But I was also I was having this conversation. I'm like, it would really suck to die and then like look back at your life and then like whoever is in charge is like, you're gonna be reborn somewhere else and you're like, I don't I loved all these people that I was I've known, like I'm just gonna forget about all these souls and go start somewhere else. What if you But don't? you never know. Yeah. How how do you not know that you are living a a, a new life from a previous one? I mean, there's like, been like evidence, like you know, like a. Uh, I don't know, dude. You don't, it's like, you don't know. It's, it's like the, the the deja vu kind of like uh, what's it called? N- the Nel- Nelson Mandela effect. Oh, the, no, the, the Mandela yeah. effect. Yeah. I think that's different. You think so? I think that's just that's like, like parallel think, realities. I think. Yeah, I think that's more of like a glitch in the matrix type shit. Okay, but um. I mean, as far as, like, reincarnation goes, there's been, like, accounts of, like, children born, like, the last Talking time. Talking about life from another. Yeah, like, five, six years ago, and they recall jumping from uh, buildings in, like, 9-11. Yeah. You know, and they, they know, like, their name, they know how old they were, they know, like, their spouse's name, and it's just, like, that little glimpse. That's chill. You know, yeah. yeah. One yeah, of the like, reasons why like, I think it's real... Well- Cause I heard this idea from Steve-O actually. He was talking about why, how like, cause he, he was all fucked up and he was like questioning why like God would allow people to die or like, cause his mom went through like hell to when she died. And he's like, why would God allow us to experience that? And then he was like, but if you think about it, God experiences life through all of us. Like he, like he, he, he doesn't like, create pain he just wants to experience pain so he allows it to happen so he can experience it from each of us that's fucked up you know know what i mean so he's experiencing life in all of us the life he created through all of us so maybe we do just bounce from life to life i don't know it would suck i don't know i don't hope reincarnation i don't want to i hope my soul is my soul and i just go somewhere else well, I don't know, like, it's kind of <laughs> fucked, like, the thought of, like, you know, how, like, people say, like, you're reincarnated until you learn, like, this, like... To you reach enlightenment or whatever? Yeah, or whatever, and it's just, like, what if you just... Okay, sorry. Is that <laughs> <it>? Huh? <laughs> Did okay. you hear that? <laughs> Are you breathing? <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. Did you wheeze or was that so a woman hard. screaming? I think it was him. <laughs> I, know, I didn't wheeze. I did wheeze. Okay, so I'm, just, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm, I'm not room. trying to be as loud as I am. Everybody's <laughs> spooked in this garage. Right <laughs> He's breathing real heavy, man. Jeez, leave scared. me alone. No, it wasn't that. I swear it was the same. Um, but, yeah, no, I don't know what I was just saying. But it would be fucked to just have to, like, relive because you didn't learn. The lesson. I don't know if it would be fucked. It would, it would be fucked to if you have to, if you know at the end of your life, like, oh my god, I gotta go through this again, mm-hmm. and then it's gone, and then you go back. And just, yeah, no, that would, that would suck. No, what if you don't? If you don't know, die. then you don't know. But if you like, you're born, and you're like, he's like, you're gonna go live this life for like that split second. You know, you're gonna go live a life, and then you go. Mm-mm. I don't want that. 
No. So. Not me either, to be honest. I, I like surprises, so. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd just be surprised at dying. Fuck it, you know? It's just. It, it, it'd be it'd be worse to know when you're gonna die exactly mm-hmm. and how and people do that people like actually tap into the to the other side to figure out whether like fuck that would be the last yeah, thing I want to know, you know yeah, fuck so, that yeah and it's certain to be honest like there's been moments in my life where I think I should have died but I didn't because it wasn't my time like and that and I and I and I take that like I guess. Like personal because yeah you know, like there's a lot of moments where people like have gone in some certain situations and they could have you know passed but they didn't they survived. Didn't you say you got into like a four wheeler accident? Yeah, bro, I got the wind knocked out of me. And if it wasn't for my cousin that saw me, uh, I would have just been there like just not breathing. Like, yeah. <laughs> have you almost died? I have once life or death by inches this guy hit a home run in softball and I was on the other side of the fence and it bounced off the fence barely and had it not bounced off the fence and hit me directly it would have killed me but it bounced off the fence hit my head it still hit my head and I was all fucked up for like a whole <laughs> month but I was you know, you life go, by man. inches right? No, no, see I'm telling you see things don't happen just I forgot because. about that so just know things don't happen <laughs> just because were you little? I was like uh, five six. Oh my god no, oh, speaking of little children traumatizing incidents, yeah, like I my appendix ruptured um like four or five when I was four or five. Really? That's right. And no, the crazy thing about this shit, when it ruptured, we were like literally hours away from a hospital. Were you in Mexico? Hours. No. We were uh, my my dad just so happened to have taken me and my mom on a hunting trip. And if you know a little bit about hunting, you just don't go, you just don't go anywhere. You go out there. Wait so, yeah, time. we're out there, my guy. And all that weekend, I was telling them, like, my stomach really hurted. But you don't listen to a kid. You're like, you just, <laughs> you just got to take a shit, bro. Just take a shit. You're not, you're not hurting. And, and they got to the, it got to the point to where, yeah, I was like, um, the doctor said, if y'all would have waited five more minutes, we would have not have been able to save your son. I mean, no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, septic or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But. I knew a lady who went septic. I used to work with her. She was fucking crazy, though, because of it. Like, that shit went to her brain. Oh, my granny went septic, but not that, not that severe. No, like, it was awful. Like, she had, like, it gave her, like, bipolar disorder and stuff <laughs> like that. Like, yeah, yeah it, like, fucked with her heart. It's so crazy when you yeah. think about, like how uh what's the word like the body is like so how it can just just yeah. one little thing will fuck you up forever oh my god i know it's uh, scary I gotta, yeah i got another nice car scary. over here it's pretty cool but well, at least you don't have to worry about that ever again yeah no i mean yeah like next thing like a few years later i, I realized that the appendix is a useless fucking organ if it was so useless why was it trying to kill me you feel me like I was so upset. Like, why did it happen? That, like, what? And it ha- it's very common, you know, yeah, like it, that. I was just trying to think, so, like, is there, like, a certain age, like, once, if it doesn't rupture by a certain age? You can say, yeah, you can surgically remove no, it. No, I'm saying, though, like, I think, like, once you're in your, like, mid-20s, if it hasn't ruptured, it most likely will never. Yeah. But it, it still can. That's how Houdini died. One in a thousand. Really? He got punched Bull, in the, Bullshit. This guy, this, guy, this guy punched him in his, his appendix and it ruptured. I him. thought he died in a in a in one of his crazy religion. ass. <laughs> no, I think you, like, you wasn't that bullet. Sure? Yeah, it wasn't he trying to catch a bullet. Nah, yeah, no, that's the, he died on Halloween. No, no. That's, that's Jet Li or whatever, Bruce Lee or whatever. No, no not Bruce Lee. Google it. Google yeah, it. <laughs> Jamie. Ah, Google it. Like fucking Julian's not here, motherfucker. Hey, shout out to the bro. I swear he died He's, doing a performance. Well, then the Houdini show lied to me. Oh. The Houdini <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, like, like we were talking about before. I feel like you. Master can't... escape artist Harry Houdini died on Halloween of 1926 from a ruptured appendix. Oh, wow! But many of the circumstances surrounding his demise remain a mystery. In there the show, because you remember, did you ever see that the History Channel did a mm-hmm. like a documentary about his life? Mm-hmm. So I guess some guy hated him and he punched him in his appendix. Do you do you think? 
being able to like what he did you think he did it made a deal like no i think his was like straight as freak of nature yeah or just like endurance or something I mean, I think he was because like, he would like condition himself for like these things. That's like cool. he almost died. I mean, like you watch the show, yeah, he almost died so many it, yeah. times. He's very interesting, man. I don't very think he was like devil or any of that shit. It's not wrong with that, huh? No, nothing. Well, I mean, uh, you want to be damned to hell for eternity? Nothing wrong with that. Hey, for man. Being able to breathe underwater for for for, <laughs> um, for riches and fame for what a hundred years? Gills. Less than a hundred years. <laughs> Shout out to myself for gills. No, that's that Houdini was like interesting to learn about. He was crazy. Yeah. And he was nuts. Like that whole time period was nuts. I can't even. I don't know. He was one of the one of the first to do it. I like Chris Angel. Mind freak. Do you like Chris Angel? I love Chris Angel. Yeah. I think it's so cool. I was talking about him today with one of my clients. She's going to Vegas this weekend. He's, he's still kicking it, right? Yeah, he's, he's still performing. He's at the Luxor. So. Uh, probably, right. he's, he probably made a deal with the devil. I bet you he did. Oh, yeah, he his, was uh, so weird. Because he he's so like weird. the most successful magician, his magician ever, almost, I think. Is he really? Well, well, Copperfield, maybe. I don't know. Who else would be? David, David Blaine. Blaine. David Blaine. Them three. But David Blaine doesn't seem like a freak like that. No. He's more into cards. He's just, he just... He taught me that if you get stabbed, don't pull it out. Who you can did? like stab yourself with a knife through your belly, and as long as you don't pull it out, you won't die. So how do like you fix it? I, I think you. You just have to get like medical assistance. Either that or it's there forever. Like he stuck an ice pick through his arm <laughs> on Joe Rogan. He stuck an ice pick through his arm, and he just kept it there. Yeah. And, I think I actually saw that here. Yeah. Or, I don't know. On the show. So, yeah, on what the show. The that's awful. That's cool. It's like he was proving he because Joe Rogan was like, "That's not real. There's no way." And he's like, "He's yeah, like, oh, watch, watch, bro." Yeah, and he goes. <laughs> so like you can like. So I was thinking, if I ever get stabbed, just don't pull it out. I won't die. Have you ever seen somebody get stabbed and die? No. That is bizarre. <laughs> no, I've, no. I've seen videos. I've seen videos. That is, no, I think we have. I've seen some gory shit before. <laughs> Me too. That is bizarre. I can't watch stuff like that. <laughs> mm mm. Like I'm so desensitized to that yeah. shit. Like I've seen the worst of the worst. Yeah. I'm never like. No, uh, it's like yeah, you get used to it, but then in 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 person, it's different. Seeing seeing like. Have you seen somebody die in person? I'm not gonna no comment. Have you? <laughs> no, thankfully no. You have. That's crazy. We'll just leave it at that. I haven't, so I don't want to either. Yeah. Now let me just ask this: Is it different than the video? Is it different yeah, than watching it? Because it makes you realize, like, it's real life. Like the videos, you're like, oh, that can, that'll never happen to me. And then, no, yeah, you see that shit in real life. Yep, yeah. it makes you look at things differently. That's all I'm gonna say. And then it makes you want to sell your soul to the devil. This was, I mean, <laughs> this guy. One is the fucking. What superpower would you gain if you fucking did it? If I wanted a superpower. Yeah. I think uh, knowing everything without like me blowing up my brain. Yeah, like knowing. You would legitimately want to know everything. Know everything, everything that you shouldn't know about, like all the knowledge in the world. I would, that's my superpower. I'd want to know everything. I feel like that would be damning. Yeah. That would be worse. Yeah. Then it would be better. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. I'll just, just use crazy. it to my advantage. Like, yeah, I'd, I'd figure out how to harness like nuclear energy to make it <laughs> to where. Yeah, I'll just make it a profit. You feel me? Like, it's all about the money in in retrospect. So it really is all about the money. It is all about the money, man. The root of all evil. Root of all evil. At the end of the day. So. Yeah, will you, will you tell me about the witch that you were telling me about? I just remembered that. <laughs> There's the, a witch. In the Lillet. story about my friends? Sure, tell us that and then we'll talk about the witch. Okay. Or like, are you talking about <laughs> the witch that yeah, I was sure. talking about that like lives like out like past, you know, like out there? Is that what we're talking about at Flips? Yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, uh, I can like loosely talk about it. Uh, Why? I don't know. Uh, you know, you never want to talk about a witch, man. And we'll, 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 block, we'll bleep out the names. Good or bad. Okay. Good okay. or bad. All the names you mentioned in this story. I'm like, ooh, I don't know. Um, 
No, I. Uh, oh, she's gonna. Curse she's gonna have us. to rub, her, rub an egg around her after this. You feel me? Yeah. Oh God, it involves eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does. Um, no, just. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! Now I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, I'm scared. Nah. Yeah, nah. I'm scared. Um, okay, well, no, no, don't tell the story. Okay. You. I, okay. <laughs> there so go. there's a witch. I I went to a culandera okay. a few years ago. I want to say it was like four years ago now, or whatever. Um, I was just going through like a shit period, like. We all do. And like it was just like, like mainly financial. It's just like you pay off your car, you have to buy all new tires immediately after. And then you know, just it was just back to back yeah. to back, and then it was just hits. They were getting a break. Yeah, and so. It was just kind of like one of those periods of like, who the fuck hates me? You know, like, yeah. like who's doing this shit to me? And it was like an intuition of like, who's fucking with me? And that's just kind of like how I felt all the time. And I, I never blame people for shit that happens to me, you know, but it was just, it was one of those things. So um, I heard about this lady, this old lady that you could go to and she would like pray over you and like, you know, give you like solutions or give you like just, you know. Heal you. Heal yeah, you, you know, like. Spirit. Me- Mexican Glenda nah, yeah. hideous shit That's... and so um, my friend and I went and it was like out out in the middle of nowhere and uh, when we asked her like what she wanted as payment like I was expecting her to tell me like a price and she was like oh I don't want money like I want eggs I'm just giving you a carton of eggs and I was like oh like this has to be like some real shit like she's asking for eggs like not even money like, do you want like do you want me to find them, buy them? Yeah, like, <laughs> request, yeah. Oh, but, thanks. Okay, yeah. But anyways, like, uh, so I, I, we go and there's, there's women in the house and they're able to go, you know, like together in the room and shit. And it's my turn. And she asked me to go by myself. So I, I do. And she starts off by just like praying, you know, for yeah. me. And she's like spraying me with like whatever like stuff and <laughs> and um she has three glasses of water and then she asked me to take a sip out of each glass and then she cracks an egg in each glass and uh like so say like this is like the glass or whatever and she like cracks like the egg in it so it's just like the yolk would yeah. like go to the bottom and it's like i guess it's like the egg white would make like a u in each glass and there was like a break in the yolk in okay. each glass in each glass and like from the yolk like three little bubbles rose to the top and it was in each one you know and like you look at it and she's like fuck it it's eggs in water you know no. and <laughs> so so she's like she's Way breaking more. it down to me and, and she's like are you are you leaving are you moving anytime soon or, or are you going on a trip mm-hmm. and i was like oh yeah i'm going to this convention with my friends you know in dallas and i was just like hyped and she was like oh you're not gonna come back or you're gonna get arrested like this involves like legal trouble or like you're you're not coming back, and <laughs> and she she said it just like so like just boldly and just like That's uh, a lot. Yeah, yeah like oh uh, like that trip that you won't come back from, yeah. and so she kind of just tells me like that's what that break is like I'll I'll go to my trip but I won't return from Lubbock like to Lubbock you know like I'll I won't come back so um and then she tells me like the three bubbles are like people who like put some shit on me or like manifested some shit on me essentially uh-huh. like now that like i just tra- like just translating that she had just kind of told me like uh these people could have like intentionally like put some things on you like or with intention like they they researched they and they bad for you yeah. yeah or she was like or um just like straight hate or envy can like conjure shit and mm. you know it's like you don't have to necessarily like it is what I hate. Yeah, you know, yeah. It was just, you know, like, you don't necessarily have to be, like, I hope Jen's life fucking sucks, but just, like, this, the anger of it and just the rage of Manifesting. it and the envy of it yeah. will almost, like... Was this the year you played with the Ouija board? No, this was, yeah. like, three years after that. Okay. Yeah. But that would explain so much <laughs> That's if that was, like, that same time period. Um, but, no, so she just asked me to keep coming to her. She just asked me to just keep our visits private. So I, I saw her for like once a week for like two more weeks. And like each time I saw her like this, the same thing would be there and the same bubbles would rise up, the same really? three, right. but the gap would kind of shut a little bit. <laughs> and so the last time I saw her, the gap did shut, but the, the crack was still there. It just wasn't like a opening yeah. anymore. And she had just kind of told me like, a, 
you know, like you, you, you can like still, you know, go and everything. Just You'd like be in careful. less trouble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, but she had kind of just told me, you know, like Look try out. not to like have alcohol in your car or like drugs in your car. And like, of course, you know, we, we smoke, you know, on the way there and yeah. stuff. So it, it just made me like just very like paranoid, very paranoid. So I was like begging my friends, like, <laughs> We'll find we'll find somebody in Dallas. Like just don't don't pack anything. Do not pack right. anything and, and nobody listen to me. And uh, <laughs> like I was just I was just a paranoid mess the whole time, but um I'm not putting anybody on blast. But uh I argued with my friends the whole time. And oh. we ended up getting really into it and we stopped being friends. Oh but so. my last visit with that lady, um, she had just kinda told me that um pretty much like things would like work itself out and like you would come to like a big separation like she kind of just told me like you will be alone but it'll be like for good reasoning right. you know and so i didn't i just lost contact with my friends for like a year and a half you know and and shit happened and we ended up you know mending things or whatever but we all like went through like our own like weird shits you know yeah. and it, it was just it was just really weird how like a lot of things that she kind of spoke about not necessarily like telling me what was going to happen per se but just kind of like um advising you know yeah. and it was just weird i never went back to her because it was almost like a too freaky i didn't i didn't want to keep dabbling in it almost, you know okay. like because then that because you like add some sort of it's like uh, eventually it's like i felt like it was going to come to a point of like oh. you know I, I can help you with this or you know if you're having trouble with this i'm going to give you this you know and i didn't want to come to a point where i had to depend on Do you that. think she was tapped into some other shit oh i i feel like for sure like i feel like anybody like you can call them like brujeria. You can call them like brujas or like culanderas or whatever. But witchcraft is witchcraft. I feel you know, and I feel like what's the difference between the good, two? There's good and bad. I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's but I feel good. like anything like you dabble in has what good witchcraft? Where is there good witchcraft? Like the one that to to to, to battle the bad shit. Like, like in you, her you case, like she like a, like a warlock. No, uh, that's, no, that's, that's all the that's all the, that's all the bad side. Yeah, like um, she. She would pretty much just like, it was like Catholic shit. Like she would like pray and she would ask me to get like her like St. Benedict candles and like uh, just candles with like different saints. But she would like use like her, her weird long thumbnail to like carve things into the wax and like put coins and like shove them in there. And yeah. yeah. And yeah. she would like, yeah, and she would like tie certain color ribbons. Religion on doesn't fuck with it like that, but it's... That's why I feel like. What was that? I don't know. No. Uh, nope. 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 I didn't pee, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, I heard yeah, that. Yeah, I did hear that. Uh, I didn't pee. I'm sorry. We can talk about. That was nice. <laughs> keep on talking. I'll do it. Oh, that was never. It doesn't freak me out as much. The, the... Were, you, were you wheezing again? <laughs> I'm not crazy. Maybe I am. Well, whenever we rewatch this, it's going to be weird. You gonna... Check it out, bro. Look at it. It's in a. Uh... It's going to be the end of the podcast because that was fucking weird. No, I mean, I was going to say this uh, ever since I have been dabbling. Not, nothing serious. You do get followed. You do get followed. I feel like... Juan brought the devil to my house. <laughs> Damn it. Jen, you got anything else to say because this is freaking no, I'm weird. scared. Well, thanks for, but honestly, thanks for coming on. <laughs> we got what we wanted. We got scared. That noise was fucking me. weird. It scared me. What if it was nothing? Go back and listen to it. Can you listen to it right no, now? No, you have to put it on the like, Oh. You'd have to, like, upload uh, yeah. it. I'm going to upload it tonight and get scared. <laughs> we have enough footage for the, to okay. be good. Okay. I'm genuinely like, what the fuck? I'm not, like, freaked out. I'm, like, I'm not fuck? freaked out. I'm not freaked out. One brought the devil to my house. house. Can I tell one more story? It has nothing to do with, like, demons or anything, but just ghosts? Yeah. I don't know. It's two different things. I mean, this, no, this is the same to me. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear it? Okay, we're done. You can tell it off camera. Don't tell it on camera. Okay. I'm tired of these headphones picking up everything. You're scared? <laughs> I'm not scared. All right, go ahead and tell it. I'm not scared. Because <laughs> I, I told you about it. It was one about my friend who saw her boyfriend's grandpa. Um, I have a friend named Leela. And uh, a few years ago, she, she was dating this guy for like a long time. I keep but looking in that TV to see if I see something. <laughs> Stop. So I'm so scared. So fast. Okay. Okay. So, um... You're scaring me because <laughs> you're like Roy. Roy's scaring you. Yeah, because he's like Roy's always scary. 
<laughs> I'm always timid and fucking scared. No, you're, you're just a scary person, man. Fuck you. You're scary. You brought the devil. I'm going to have to give you a fucking holy water. An exorcism. Sorry, Jen. No, you're good. We'll, we'll leave on that. Let Jen tell us story when you come back because well, I'm distracted. Well, <laughs> Jen, bro, we're not even a... Jen's a demon connoisseur and Juan is the demon himself. No, so. no. Jen, thanks for coming on for real though. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm a demon connoisseur. Too. Thanks for um, coming on a whim. You too. Thank you, sir. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know me, buddy. Anything for you. Thanks for bringing Satan over. Uh, freaking me out for an hour. Genuinely had a good experience because I got scared. But yeah, uh, you got anything else to say? Thanks for... Uh, Oh, no, if anything, man, just always a pleasure talking, especially something you don't really talk about because not a lot of people do. This was kind of an odd one to do, but fuck it, it was fun. No, like I said, what do you you usually talk about? Not this shit. I don't know, I'm drunk. I never (laughs) know what I'm talking about. I'm fine with ending it. I'm not scared. Next time we'll experience more scary shit. Some we'll bring some like an actual like paranormal team you know, maybe maybe that'd be pretty fun that would be cool maybe not even that like a tarot card reader or some bullshit yeah. like that get their perspective uh, a demonologist oh if you're out there hit me up <laughs> Jen you know Mm-mm. thanks for <laughs> sharing the spook with me thanks for having me we'll see y'all next time <laughs> and hopefully <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, that was it. That was the episode. What a weird fucking ending, huh? (laughs) I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is episode 85. Jen and Juan. It was crazy. Part one of the mini saga that I think we're going to continue doing. Um, Yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Comment if you liked it. Comment if you didn't. Comment your scary stories. I'd like to hear them. That'd be fucking cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, this was episode 85 of the podcast. Thank you.